So you guys, I'm going to add this on um, in addition to the beginning portion of the video that I just posted on. Last night when I was writing, the Lord had me pray over people who are believing him for a car. And I did that very thing last night. But then also in the video that I um, posted earlier, I mentioned it. But then um, the spirit of the Lord, you know, nudge, nudge my spirit and let me know that a person who's believing God for a car is not going to watch one of your kingdom spouse videos. So I was like, Lord, you are right. So um, if you are believing God for a new car, please understand that I am um, believing with you. I have set forth my prayer with you, but I want you to hear this testimony that I had last year when I was believing God for a new car and how God can do exceedingly above and beyond anything that you can fathom. Let me tell you something. I want to say this really quick. Don't let some non-believing person talk you out of what God has for you or wants to do for you. If I had that type of mentality, I would not come back to you guys a year later telling you about what God did for me. It's not just about, you know, for your, you know, luxury or your comfort. It's about passing the testimony on, right? And when God does a thing in your life, he's always going to be testimony worthy. It's going to be praiseworthy. All right. So don't deny God the opportunity to bless you in a major way because it's going to be used later down the line. Okay. So just believe I'm telling you right now, um, just believe believe, excuse me, just believe right in the promises of God. Um, I'm standing with you. I am standing with you. Okay. Um, so, so what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is glory talks with Amber J. Um, first and foremost, I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the donations, the support, the prayers, the testimonies. You guys are uplifting me in so many ways. You don't even know, like you have no idea. I have literally taken, taken all of you up to God in prayer, literally in prayer. And just know that if you're seeing a quick turnaround in me, God is going to do a quick turnaround in you. If all of our, think about it like this, if the kingdom of heaven, which is a real kingdom, it's real. And we're sending all of our prayers, our petitions and and it's coming together as a group project, right? And you see one person, you know, prayer get answered. Please believe. Yours is already answered. You, you just haven't seen it just yet, but it's already done. It is already done. So this is why those group prayers are so important and they are so dynamic. And it's such a confirmation, confirmation for you guys. When you guys stand together in prayer, look, Jesus said, well, um, where two or more are gathered in the, uh, there I am in the midst where two or more are gathered there. I am in the midst. So when you guys come together in prayer, and especially praying for, um, the well-being or the benefit of another person, you don't think that shakes heaven up when so many pre people, they say, you know, selfish prayers or just prayers for just for themselves. But when you start lifting other people in prayer, oh, yes, you, you know, baby, it's a resounding noise in heaven. So expect favor, expect a large amount of favor. Favor is my portion, you know, and I with gladness, with gladness, with cheerfulness, everything with pleasure. I pass that on to you guys as well for supporting and, you know, praying and covering me in this time. Can't thank you enough. Um, there is something else that I wanted to say. I have to get this off of my heart. The Lord is pressing me to do so. Um, last night, yesterday, you guys, I was feeling so much better. So, you know, <laughs> I went for a little ride. I've been cooped up in the house. I needed a breath of fresh air. I went for a little ride last night. And as I was writing, you know, I'm just thanking the Lord. I'm just like, I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm just in such deep prayer with God. And um, he brought me back to the time when I first got my car, I have a new car. And he brought me back to the uh, that, that moment in that time. And immediately he had me to start praying for people who are believing for new vehicles. 
And when God gives you a new vehicle, he's not going to give you a new used car. He's going to give you a new, new car. When I started looking for, I needed a new car, you guys. Last year, I just needed a new car. A testimony time. I needed a new car. Um, but for what I was approved for, what I was pre-approved for, and what I was looking at, I could only afford like a 2019, a 2020, maybe a 21. You guys, it was August 24th, I want to say. August 24th, 2022. I drove off the showroom floor in a 2023 premium luxury edition. It was the exact same price as the 2019 models in the 2020 models. And I asked a salesman, I was like, why are they the same price? She said, um, I think because of those, the other years had like up charges. And so now they're just, um, scaling back just a little bit but I got a car a brand new car drove it off the showroom floor all the bells and whistles that I wanted and it was a 23 2023 I got it in 2022 so let that be a blessing to someone 